My name is Danny and I'm the founder of Pastel Noir, a sustainable, zero waste and socially responsible clothing label whose designs are made to order specifically to each client's measurements. Uh, every piece we make is made out of uh, discarded materials and produced locally by a community of women single parents in North Macedonia. The entire profit is reinvested uh, back to fund the growth of these women-owned businesses and uh, support them with the education of their children in a country where their monthly income is sadly less than uh, $300. I uh, founded the company back in 2013. Uh, back then it started as a marketplace for local designers, which quickly expanded to cover international designers as well. But uh, four years into it, the business pivoted to a standalone fashion label. The shift was driven by my desire to make an actual change in the society that I lived in. Um, at the time, I was working with a woman ran studio and the seamstress I was working with became a single parent. As someone who was working extra hard to provide for her child, I was not only impressed by her strength, but I was also inspired by her tenacity and her iron will to provide her child with better circumstances than she was born under. Um, this made me uh, think long and hard about what kind of legacy I wanted to leave behind. So I decided to make Pastel Noir a socially responsible brand. Uh, as the brand grew, so did our community of women single parents. And today we are proud to say that we work with uh, five women-owned studios who are either operated by women single parents or women micro-entrepreneurs. In addition to this, in July 2020, we've also made a decision to set up a fund to help these women battle and adapt better to the current pandemic situation. What advice would I give to those who want to follow in my footsteps? Uh, well, let's see. Um, I've learned a lot during this entrepreneurial journey, but the one crucial thing I wish I knew before I started out was not to allow my vanity dictate the way I conduct my business. Um, you know there's this sentence, start small, written across the very first page of every business book, but somehow I thought I knew better. As someone who is uh, highly ambitious, I wanted to do everything at once, which honestly, if you have this mindset, it will take you nowhere. Um, there's a certain power that comes with building a small community, a small group of uh, like-minded people who connect emotionally uh, with whatever it is you are selling will get you very far. Another thing, um, be sure whatever it is you start uh, to be passionate about it. I know this is such a cliche, but the thing is that passion is the engine that drives you through the dark times. You know that um, tiny voice of doubt you hear in the back of your mind whenever something goes wrong and it inevitably will. Uh, passion will act as your voice of reason. You have no idea just how many times I wanted to to quit but uh, somehow whenever the next day came I always came back to it and that's because I'm passionate about what I do and I love it. Uh, and the third advice I would give is before stepping into this wildly intricate adventure of values and peaks, defeats and wins. Make sure you define what a success means to you, not what it means to other people. Believe me, it will save you a lot of heartache and emotional turmoil if you know at the very beginning uh, what you want to achieve. And um, try to avoid defining it through money. Um, as human beings, we tend to always want more and that's not necessarily a bad thing when it comes to ambition and drive. 
but when it comes to money whatever amount you make will never ever be enough trust me so try to make a list of things that will make you happy to achieve without them being connected to monetary value of course your business needs to be profitable in order to survive but if you cover the ongoing expenses in the first few years you should consider yourself a success